Do you ever wonder what it's like to live in one of Miami's most historic and beautiful neighborhoods? What makes Cora Gables one of the most desirable places to live in? Well, if you're interested to come on a tour and dive into all things, attractions, things to do, transportation, education, culture, and of course, real estate, you are in the right place. By the way, I am Stefania Mogollin, your Miami and South Florida real estate agent. So if you're looking to buy, sell, rent, or invest here in Coral Gables or anywhere else in South Florida and Miami, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. All my information is going to be down on the description box. Send me a text, send me an email, give me a call, and I'll be more than happy to help you make the move. Now, let's go on this tour of Cora Gables, which I am already in one of the hot spots. So let's dive in. Cora Gables is definitely a very picturesque neighborhood here in Miami, characterized by incredible history and architecture like the building that I have right behind me. So you're gonna see overall a contrast of architecture like Hispanic and Mediterranean, but also the good thing about Cora Gables is that the community, the rules, the laws, and everything preserve history very, very much. And that's something not commonly seen here in Miami. So that's why I appreciate the history of this neighborhood tremendously. Coral Gables is fairly a quiet neighborhood, but it is also very sophisticated. One of the things that I like the most is the strong sense of community. Actually here, people tend to live in their properties for longer periods of times compared to other neighborhoods in Miami, which says a lot. Pretty much people enjoy the quality of life that this neighborhood provides, and that's why they don't move often, which makes it really, really appealing for families, especially families with kids because of the amazing schools that there are here, which we will dive a little bit deeper later on this video and also the fire and police department here are one of the best in the city. Let's talk lifestyle. What's the lifestyle like here in Coral Gables? Well, this is definitely a very upscale and affluent neighborhood, yet it's very, very family oriented. You have plenty of things to do here and actually things that you will not find in any other neighborhood in Miami like the Venetian pools. This neighborhood also have numerous parks, playgrounds and family oriented activities and events that you really will not find anywhere else. One of them is the Venetian pool from an underground aquifer and it's refilled daily with over 820,000 gallons of water. So this is a unique experience for your entire family. You also have other places to go with your family like the Coral Gables Branch Library, the Fairchild Tropical Botanical Garden with an 83 acre botanic garden with an extensive collection of rare tropical plants including palms, cycads, flowering trees, and vines. Among other places you have the Coral Gables Museum, Low Art Museum and more. One of the other things that you can do here in Coral Gables is come to places like this one. This is Miracle Mile where you're gonna find plenty of fine dining places, places to shop, especially wedding dresses. There are a lot of uh, stores like that. Also laid back sandwich shop, cafe. But the good thing is that even though this is a commercial area, you're gonna notice that they still preserve all of their Mediterranean and Hispanic architecture. Because even though the stores may be modern, they want to preserve the history of this unique place. And that's what I love about especially Miracle Mile, but you have other places and retail spaces to shop. The plaza in Coral Gables is a new space called quote unquote urban oasis in the heart of the neighborhood and is your number one entertainment center nowadays where you can experience a lavish dining, shopping, business, lodging and more. Other places that represent the architecture and landmark of this incredible neighborhood is the Merrick House, which you can pretty much step back to the 20s when you visit this place. Also the Coral Gables Art Cinema, and you have events like the Carnival on the Mile, which is an annual festival featuring music, art, 
food and entertainment. Also, for the foodies here, you have Coral Gables Restaurant Week, which highlights the city's culinary scene with special menus and discounts. Also, you have Gables Bike Tour, which is a monthly guided tour exploring different parts of Coral Gables. Another iconic place here in Coral Gables is the Billmore Hotel. It's an extremely luxury experience and this hotel was built in 1926. So let's talk about history, almost 100 years old. And here you can experience luxury vacation, fine dining, you can play tennis, enjoy the incredible and immense pool that it has, but also play golf because it has incredible golf courses, which by the way, is an activity that you can do in different locations all around this neighborhood in Coral Gables but I definitely had to come here because this hotel is a must in the neighborhood and also if you're just visiting please stop by because it's comp it's beautiful I love it it's beautiful Now let's talk about education. One of the main reasons multiple families move to Coral Gables is education. Coral Gables have several schools rated 10 out of 10 in elementary, middle, and high school. But on top of that, you also have the University of Miami, which is where I am right now. As you can see, I am in the Wasco Center. Here is the conference center where they host events. But this is one of the main universities in the entire state of Florida, and it was built in 1925 so this has been here for almost 100 years so this is a neighborhood that definitely has a lot of legacy when it comes to education like I usually say to my clients go to greatschools.org to check out the possible schools according to your child's age or needs or if you are already having like teenagers at home maybe thinking of joining UM this neighborhood is the best you can get Talking about schools, we have to mention one of the main and 10 out of 10 schools in this neighborhood, which is Henry S. West Laboratory School. This school is particularly important because it is in partnership with the University of Miami, enhancing the educational opportunities for its students and offer education for children from levels pre-K to eighth grade. Other schools to mention that are rated 10 out of 10 is George W. Carver Elementary School, Somerset Cables Academy, Coral Gables Preparatory Academy, Ponce de Leon Middle School, and of course, International Studies Preparatory Academy. All of these schools are rated 10 out of 10 or 9 out of 10 in all aspects. Test scores, student progress, equity and all of the metrics that are included on the website greatschools.org so it's so funny because i'm literally finishing the video right now in um and i just bump into sammy and alana they are hi nice to meet you hi there are students here from um and i just want to ask you guys <laughs> what do you like about um or living around do you guys live around coral gables okay so i love how the weather here is warm year round we're not used to that yes. up north we're used to the cold weather <laughs> the people here are so nice and so welcoming and they yeah. always want to have a good time do you like i downtown? love the location it's not just the campus it's also downtown miami and then there's coral gables and beach. brickle down there the beach Beautiful shopping, just such good campus, such good people. What are you uh, studying for? Um, business. Oh, uh, both? I'm studying law. Law and business, so. Now let's talk about real estate and location, my favorite topics. So this is a definitely an area that's very luxurious with well manicured lawns, which I love, and three lined streets. But let me explain a little further as to how exactly Coral Gables is divided and where it's located in Miami. So let's explain. I'm gonna be showing you a map so you can kind of understand number one, where it's located, and number two, how exactly it's divided because this is certainly a very awkward shape of neighborhood. We're gonna divide Coral Gables into two parts where you can see the US one. So we're gonna do the east side of US 1 and then the west side of US 1. The east side, you're going to find homes that are a little bit more affordable around the Granola Golf Course, Coral Way, and even the Billmore Golf Course. Here you can find some properties that are under $1 million, $2 and $3 million, as opposed to the west side of US 1, which some people may get confused, but 
Coral Gables runs further down Old Cutler, which is where you will find the most expensive areas and gated communities. And Coral Gables is definitely a pretty big area, but it has its own divisions. So right now I am in the south of Coral Gables, where you will find some of the most expensive real estate in Miami, and I will say in Florida, with homes listed up to $69 million. And right here, you're gonna find gated communities that are incredible, like Coco Plum, Gable States, the hammocks, and you name it, because this area is very, very unique. In general, here in Coral Gables, you will find plenty of properties with a Spanish style and historically protected. What does that mean? Basically, the city is trying to protect these properties, so the homeowners have limitations as to what they can do with the property in terms of renovations, changes of appearance. So if Spanish style is not what you're looking for, maybe this is not the right neighborhood for you, but if you are, I absolutely love because as I said before, this is a neighborhood that really takes pride in preserving history. Okay, now that we're talking about real estate, let's dive into some stats with the medium price for single family homes because this area is mainly single family properties. You will find condominium units, but it's not as common. So medium uh, sale price is around $2 million. As of right now, the medium listing price is up to $4 million and close sales for the past six months as of the time of recording of this video it's around one million eight hundred and thirty seven thousand dollars now this is a medium price here in Coral Gables it's a little bit hard to find properties under a million dollars and that's like the reality here um, but you have a little bit of room between one to five million dollar properties and of course if you are looking for a more extravagant property here is the place to be so this has been all for today. I truly hope that you enjoyed this video and it was helpful to you, first of all, because I'm freaking sweating. It's so hot right now. And secondly, because it is my intention for you to have a better idea of how is Coral Gables, if you're not from here, if you're thinking of relocating or buying or investing or renting, I am here to give you a glimpse of what life could be like in this neighborhood or any other neighborhood here in Miami. So do not hesitate to reach out to me, send me a text, give me a call, send me an email. My information is gonna be down in the description box. Like I said, whether you're looking to move here or somewhere else in Miami, I'll be more than happy to help you make the move.